Chomsky is a regular grammar. So in the previous video, we discussed about Chomsky hierarchy. So according to Chomsky hierarchy, grammar is divided into four types. Right? Type 0 grammar, type 1 grammar, type 2 grammar and type 3 grammar. Type 0 grammar is unrestricted grammar. Type 1 grammar is context sensitive grammar. Type 2 grammar is context free grammar. And type 3 grammar is regular grammar. Okay. So this is regular grammar. So regular grammar is type 3 grammar. And the type 3 grammars are the grammar which generate all the regular languages and that are accepted by the finite automata. That also you studied in the previous classes, right? So, regular grammar generate regular languages and are accepted by push down, sorry, finite automata, right? So, it is in the form, the production must be in the form, a single non-terminal, any non-terminal gives that is LHS part will be a single non-terminal and RHS part will be a single terminal followed by a single non-terminal or a single terminal only including epsilon okay or non-terminal gives LHS part will be a single non-terminal RHS part will be a non-terminal single non-terminal followed by a single terminal or a single terminal only okay so here variables are these are the non-terminals right then what is a here a is any terminal right b includes either it will be epsilon or any terminal okay so here this the uh, while seeing these two you can see there is a terminal then non-terminal or there is a non-terminal and a terminal Right? So, regular grammar is divided into two types, lie, uh, left linear grammar and right linear grammar. Okay. So, uh, which one is here left linear grammar, which one is right linear grammar while considering these two. So, one is left linear grammar here, one is right linear grammar. Okay. If you are in the RHS while taking the RHS part, if you are seeing the non-terminal in the right side, then it is a right linear grammar. So, this is a right linear grammar. Here, in the right hand side, you can see the non-terminal in the left side. This is a LHS part, right? In the, sorry, RHS part. In the RHS part, non-terminal, then terminal. So, non-terminal is in the uh, left side. So, this is the left linear grammar. Okay, so the languages generated by type 3 grammar is regular grammar for which finite automata is designed. Okay, suppose you are asking to write a regular grammar for the given automata. Okay, suppose this is our automata. Starting state, while seeing the input symbol B, it is going to state B and there you can see a self loop. So what will be the grammar? What will be the grammar? for this particular automata so five this is a finite automata and the finite automata is an acceptor and the corresponding language is regular language and the corresponding grammar is regular grammar right so how to write a regular grammar for this one either you can write a left linear grammar you already know regular grammar is two types left linear grammar or right linear grammar right so i am writing here so from state a gives while seeing the input symbol B, it is going to state B, right? Then from state to B, while seeing the input symbol A, from state to B, while seeing the input symbol A, it is moving to the same state itself. Or while seeing the input symbol B, from state to B, while seeing the input symbol B, it is moving to the same state itself. And this B is the accepting state. So, put epsilon. So, this is a grammar corresponding to this particular finite automata. Okay. So, this is a state. While seeing the input symbol B, it is moving to state B. From capital B state, while seeing the input symbol A, it is moving to the same state itself. That is B itself. Or while seeing the input symbol B, it is going to the same state, B, B. And capital B is the accepting state. So, we are putting an epsilon here. Understood? So, this is which type of grammar? Right linear or left linear? So, this is, you can see the, in the RHS part, uh, non-terminal is in the right side. So, this is the right linear grammar. If it is left linear grammar, how you can write? A gives B, B. 
B gives B A or B B or epsilon. So this will be the left linear graph. Okay. One more example I will show you. See another automata. So this is uh, the corresponding language is A power n B power m such that n comma m greater than or equal to one. Right? N number of a's and m number of b's. Okay. So how to write grammar for this one? Q zero. While seeing the input symbol a, it is going to Q one. Q one. While seeing the input symbol a, it is going to Q one. And the same state Q one. While seeing the input symbol b, it is going to Q two. Right? And Q two. Q two is a accepting state. Q two. While seeing the input symbol b, it is going to Q two, and this is a accepting state. So this is a grammar corresponding to this particular automata. Right? Which type of grammar? This is the right linear grammar, regular grammar. So in the next video, I will explain you what is context-free grammar.